Bona Chorich, despite his success, one area where he has struggled in the past is with his forehand. Many experts have criticized his forehand for its long take, take back and tendency to break down under the stress of an opponent's offense. However, Chorich has been working hard to improve his forehand, recognizing that is an essential part of his game and a key factor in his success. One of the main reasons why Chorich has been fo focusing on improving his forehand is because it's an such a critical shot in a tense. The forehand is often the most dominant shot in a player's arsenal and it is typically used to set up points and indicate play. If a player's forehand is not reliable, they will struggle to keep up with their opponents and find, may find it challenging to win matches. As for, as for Church himself has said, I need my forehand to be solid, to, to prune to areas and need to be able to finish off shorter balls with it which is something I have struggled to do often, end of quote. To address these issues, Chorich has been working with his coach to refine his technique and make his forehand more efficient. One of the areas where he has focused on his, on his take back, in the past, Chorich will often take his racket back to offer, which will lead to a slower swing and less effective shot. By shortening his take back and focusing on getting his racket in position earlier, Chorich has been able to hit his forehand with more power and accuracy. Another area where Chorich has been working to improve his forehand is dealing with the high pressure situation. In the so in the past, Chorich has been struggled to maintain his technique and composure when facing opponents who are playing aggressively and putting him under pressure. This has led to errors, errors and missed opportunities, which has cost him matches. So to address these issues, Chorich has been, uh, has been working on his game, mental game, focusing on staying calm and composed under pressure and maintaining his technique even when, he, uh, st when the stakes are high. So despite these um, efforts, uh, there are some still experts who believe that Chorich's forehand is not technically sound and, and enough to compete at the highest level of tennis. They argue that the this long take back and tendency to break down under pressure make it difficult for him to, uh, at his consistent powerful shots when it matters the most. However, Chorich is, is confident that he can continue to improve his forehand and make it more reliable weapon in his game. Ultimately, his success uh, is the success of Scottish forehand will de de depend on his ability to continue to work hard and uh, make improvement in his technique and mental game. As he continues to refine his technique and gain more experience on the court, he will become better equipped and handle the pressure of elite level tennis to, uh, to use his forehand to dominate opponents with, dedicate, with, dedicate, with dedication and hard work. There is no doubt that Chorich has, been, has a potential to become one of the most dominant players in the game and to, and to cement his place among the tennis elite. Bona Chorich, Strength Training why these tennis, tennis gym workers are so important to him. So to understand the importance of his training, we need to take, talk about Chorich history. So like many athletes, Chorich has, has had to overcome setbacks and injuries to get, uh, to get uh, where, he is, where he was today. So, so one of the most significant setbacks in Chorich's career came when he underwent surgery on the right shoulder. This type of surgery is common among tennis players as the repetitive motion of serving can put a lot of strain on the shoulder joints. However, it is never easy to go through a surgery and the recovery process can be even more challenging. Chorich, uh, the recovery process was anything but easy. He experienced complications after the surgery which caused him to doubt whether he would be able to return to his previous level of play. The pain lingered longer than expected, and he was still experiencing muscle spams, um, even though he had already under undergone rehabilitation. So despite these challenging challenges, Chorich remained determined to get back to his previous level of play. He knew that he had to do his part, every day to make uh, progress and to do that he 
that to do that meant hitting the gym and working on his strength training. Strength training is essential for tennis players as it helps to build the muscles needed for the sport and even prevent injuries. Chorich knew, uh, Chorich, sorry, worked with his physical therapist to develop a strength training program that will help him recover from his shoulder surgery. As you can see now, he, wa- he, focused, he focused on exercise that will target his muscles around his shoulder joints, such as uh, rotator calf and detolts. He also incorporated exercise that will, uh, of his core and lower body. These uh, muscles are crucial for generating power on the tennis court. So, in addition uh, to his strength training, Chorich also worked on his flexibility and mobility. He knew that he, will, he needed to regain uh, his range of motion if he wanted to serve at his previous level. He worked with his uh, physical therapist to develop a strength a stretch routine that will uh, help him increase his flexibility without putting too much strain in his recovery shoulder. Over time, Chorich hard work paid off. He slowly, uh, he slowly but surely regained his strength and range of motion, and he was uh, and he was able to return to the tennis court. Although he may not have uh, been at his even at his previous level right away, he continued to work on his strength and conditioning. And eventually, uh, he, it eventually regained his spot among the top players. But still, he is working hard. So today, I can say Chorich is known for his powerful self and his ability uh, to outlast his opponent in the long matches. He credits his strength training program for helping him recover from his shoulder and surgery and for keeping his uh, injury free throughout his career. Uh, he knows that strength training is essential for many athletes who wants to perform at their best. So keep in mind, uh, or know that he is in, he, or, and he encourages sorry, other tennis players like you to incorporate uh, uh, incorporate it in, their, in your training regimen. Uh, so, my, uh, our hope is you will use this, some of these workers to improve, uh, to improve your game. Uh, so, before we go to the next practice, make sure you hit the subscribe button and, and you watch more videos of our training. The 66-inch player has a fluid and consistent motion that allows him to generate a lot of speed and spin on his serve, making it difficult for his opponent to return the ball. One of the key strengths of Chorich's serve is his ability to hit both flat and kick serve with equal effectiveness. This his flat serve, which can hit up to 140 ampere, is particularly devastating as it travels through the air of high speed and bounces low making it difficult for op- opponents to get the r- racket on it. His kick off, on the other hand, has a high bounce uh, and it is aimed at the opponent's body, making it hard to return with the power. Another aspect of storage serve that stands out is his accuracy. He is able to hit the corners of the service box consistently, which focuses on his focus, or forces his opponent to stretch around the ball, often resulting to e- in a weak return. He also avoids the placement of his serve, mix it up between the T and the wide corners, which keeps his opponent guessing and prevents them from getting into this into his rhythm. In addition to his power and accuracy, Chorich has also has exp- ex- excellent court awareness and special skills, which allows him to anticipate his opponent return and position himself optimally to hit a winner. He is a particularly adept to taking the ball on the rise, which allows him to return defense into offense and wins points quickly. To practice uh, his serve, to practice his serve, 
Shortage serve uh, is important to focus on constant and fluid motion. This can be achieved by breaking down the serve into its op- component parts of practicing each one separately. It is also important to work on accuracy and placement by aiming for specific targets in the service box. Practicing both flat and serve, kick and serve, sorry, flat, kick, flat and serve, uh, kick serve, as well as varying the placement can also help improve overall effectiveness. Finally, pr- practicing court awareness is under special can be helpful by playing out service games and practicing return different types of service. Bon Chorich is widely recognized for his foot, special footwork and recognition, which allows him to move fluidly and effortlessly on the tennis court. Chorich's playing style is revolves around his strong footwork, which enables him to move well and literally on the tennis court. He uses his ability to, to his advantage by keeping his opponent on their toes and engaging them with the long rallies. Chorich's style of play is particularly effective in wearing down his opponents from the baseline, forcing them to make mistakes and errors. Chorich's footwork is one of the greatest assets and he has worked hard to refine his technique and improve his coordination over the years. He is known to practice his footwork diligently, working on drills and exercises that help him improve his agility and speed. He trains regimen in close combination footwork drills, ladder drills, and cone drills that challenge his movement and coordination. One of the reasons why Chorich uh, footwork is so exceptional is because he's, uh, he's naturally left-handed and he plays with his right hand. This uh, unique characteristics has given him a, a distinct advantage on the court and he, as his, his movement and footwork are less predictable and more difficult for opponent, opponents to read and anticipate. So in addition to his footwork, Chorich is known for his exceptional court coverage and the ability and his ability to retrieve balls that may um, that mean other players will ding and return the ball uh, this skills requires a higher level of coordination balance and timing all of which are enhanced by Chorich's dedication to footwork training let's take a closer look at his backhand and how he practices it Chorich is a defensive player liner who prefers to stay behind the baseline and rally, rally until he gets an opportunity to attack. He rallies heavily on his backhand to retrieve balls and keep his opponent on, the, on their toes. His backhand is played with the curl hands in the mo- moment of hitting the ball and it stays curl after the swing. We, while this technique may not be norm, it seems to work exceptionally well for Chorich, giving him a better control and consistency. Traditionally, Tennis players stretch their hands in a moment of hitting the ball to increase reach and generate more power. However, Chorich's technique is unique that is, te- is that he curls his hand, which allows him to keep his, the balls in play and avoid errors. Uh, this technique is also beneficial in ex- squeezing a backhand slice, a shot that uh, Chorich uses frequently to neutralize his opponent attack. To improve his backhand, Chorich practiced tirelessly, focusing on footwork, timing, and consistency. He spent hours on the tennis court, hitting for hun- hundreds of backhand every day. He also works on improving his backhand slice, which is a crucial shot in his defensive game. Chorich's backhand is a remarkable example of how uh, unique technique, uh, how unique technique can wa- uh, work exceptionally well for players. His curl hand technique may not uh, be conventional, but it has proven to be uh, effective for him. Chorich's dedication to practice and improve and improve uh, and improve his backhand is admirable, and his hard work has paid off, making him one of the most consistent players on the ATP tour.